Hey guys, it's Nadia from the Idea Designs and today we're making my Ultra Glam coasters. Now this technique has been my absolute most requested technique on uh, Instagram and on TikTok. So I wanted to get these coasters made for you guys. So what we start with is a thin base layer of any color. So in this, for these coasters, I picked Sapphire Blue and it's from DB resin products. So um, I love this color and every time I use this color you guys always talk about how much you love it as well. And then the glitter that I have is from Larissi and I will link these in the uh, description below the video guys so don't worry too much about it but you can see that this is an irregular uh, cut glitter so that's what really gives us some really um, amazing sparkle. So what I've done is I've mixed it with some Duraclear gloss varnish and we just kind of make a thick, uh, somewhat a thick paste with it so that we can have some good control. So what we do is we mix it up and the first thing I'm going to do is kind of average out where I want my, you know, my line to be or you know, where I want the division of the coaster to be. So half of the coaster, as you know, is going to be glitter and the other half is going to be the uh, color that is the main color of the, co of the coaster, which in this case is the sapphire blue. So, and as you can see, I just kind of do a jagged pattern up and down so that it just kind of gives us that interesting look that we're going for. Um, I know a lot of you thought that I possibly just included this glitter as part of the pour but as many of you know when you pour into uh, coaster molds they tend to the resin tends to want to move towards the center so you don't end up with the control you need to you know really get this look that we want so um, as you can see we've moved into a time lapse so I'll let you guys watch that and then we'll see you on the other side So we'll just finish up here with the champagne gold and then I also wanted to add a little bit of pink to the bottom of these, uh, the glitter here, just because it's a lot of one color and I like to kind of mix in a little bit of something else. So in this, on these coasters I wanted to add a little bit of pink. So as you can see, I'm just going to add that along the bottom and just kind of spread it upwards a little bit blending as I go. And once I finish both of these coasters, then we will go into, we'll let them dry and then we will do a top coat. So here we are ready to do our top coat. The glitter has dried for probably at least a minimum of six hours. And uh, now we're ready to do this. So we'll just do another thin uh, top coat here. Um, for my coaster molds, it's probably about an ounce and a half per coaster that we're doing for the top coat and we'll use our heat gun to get the bubbles out and then we'll let that set overnight and we'll unmold them in the morning. So what's the next morning? I'm ready to take these out of the mold. And I'm always so excited to get these out of the mold just because you can really see the sparkle um, when the top coat has gone on and it's all nice and cured and you can just hold it up to the light. You can just see the sparkle 
and it's just my favorite part of the whole process here. So um, and we'll take out the other one. And again, getting it on my fingers, but so there we go. Now to finish these, we can leave, we can just do a quick sand on the edges to get those rough edges off and leave them as, as they are, or we could paint the edges gold. Uh, I will link my video for uh, painting the edges in at the end of this video. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can do that there. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I know it's been a long time coming, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you want to leave a comment, please do so in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Take care. Bye.